cells in series now let's talk about the cells connected in parallel what if the cells are connected in parallel in this case the positive terminal of cell, all the cells are connected to one point while their negative terminals to another point what does that mean कि आपके जितने भी सेल्स हैं उन सारे सेल्स का पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल किसी एक पॉइंट से कनेक्टेड होगा वाइल नेगेटिव टर्मिनल किसी दूसरे सेल से कनेक्टेड होगा सो हेयर आई एम टेकिंग टू सेल्स जिनका मैंने पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल पॉइंट इस पॉइंट से कनेक्ट कर दिया है वाइल नेगेटिव टर्मिनल दूसरे पॉइंट से कनेक्ट कर दिया है लेट्स नेम दी सेल्स एंड पॉइंट एज पॉइंट ए point b 1 point b 2 point c right Now, these are the internal resistances emf epsilon 1 epsilon 2 resist internal resistance r1 r2 and current is flowing from positive to negative so it will be like this from positive to negative from positive to negative now if the current i is coming like this and it will split into two sections i1 and i2 now these i1 and i2 flow in the terminals and join at the point b1 and again we will be getting the current i now if we form the equivalent circuit for the system it will be of the form like this now this this cell is the equivalent is the cell having emf equivalent to these two and having resistance again equivalent to above two cells and is connected between the points a and c and the current will be i now this is the equivalent cell or a parallel combination of these two cell is equivalent to a single cell of emf epsilon equivalent and internal resistance are equivalent connected between the two points a and c now in this case what we have is current i is equal to i1 plus i2 we have two cells with emfs e epsilon 1 epsilon 2 internal resistance r1 r2 current in the terminals i1 and i2 and the total current i is equal to i1 plus i2 now as the two cells are connected in parallel between the two points b1 and b2 so the potential difference v across both cells must be same we know that between the two points or in parallel combinations potential difference remains same so potential difference v across both cells must be the same now we are taking the first cell so the potential difference between the terminals of first cell potential difference between the terminals of first cell v is equal to now first cell is connected between the points b1 and b2 so potential difference v is equal to vb1 minus vb2 and this will be equal to epsilon1 minus i1 r1 on rearranging this equation we get i1 is equal to epsilon1 minus v upon r1 this is equation number 1 similarly the potential difference between the terminals of the second cell potential difference between the terminals of second cell again in this case the potential difference will be same because both cells are connected in parallel v is equal to vb1 minus vb2 but it can be written as epsilon2 minus i2 r2 
we write it as epsilon 2 minus i 2 r 2 or rearranging this we can get i 2 is equal to epsilon 2 minus v upon r 2 this is equation number 2 now in adding 1 and 2 we can get the total current i so i is equal to i 1 plus i 2 and substituting the values from 1 and 2 we can get epsilon 1 minus v upon r 1 plus epsilon 2 minus v upon r 2 or rearranging this we get i is equal to epsilon 1 upon r 1 plus epsilon 2 upon r 2 minus v 1 upon r 1 plus 1 upon r 2. that we find v r 1 plus r 2 upon r 1 r 2 will be equal to epsilon 1 r 2 plus epsilon 2 r 1 upon r 1 r 2 minus i or we can write it as v is equal to epsilon 1 r 2 plus epsilon 2 r 1 upon r1 r2 into r1 r2 upon r1 plus r2 minus i r1 r2 upon r1 plus r2 on solving this we get v is equal to epsilon 1 r2 plus epsilon 2 r1 upon r1 plus r2 minus i r1 r2 upon r1 plus r2 this is equation number third but from equivalent system that we form if we want to find the emf or i can say potential difference for the equivalent system means if we replace the two cells by a single cell with emf epsilon equivalent and internal resistance are equivalent and we wish to find the potential difference v then that potential difference for the combination for parallel combination will be capital v is equal to epsilon equivalent minus i r equivalent this is equation number four now on comparing these two equations equation number three and equation number four we get epsilon equivalent means equivalent emf in case of parallel combination will be epsilon 1 r 2 plus epsilon 2 r 1 upon r 1 plus r 2 means this emf is equal to this term and this resistance is equal to this term and r equivalent is equal to r 1 r 2 upon r 1 plus r 2 or we can write it as epsilon equivalent upon r equivalent is equal to epsilon 1 upon r 1 plus epsilon 2 upon r 2 and 1 upon r equivalent is equal to 1 upon r 1 plus 1 upon r 2. So, in case of parallel combination if we have n number of cells if we have n cells connected in parallel combination then epsilon equivalent upon r equivalent will be equal to epsilon 1 upon r 1 plus epsilon 2 upon r 2 up to nth term and 1 upon r equivalent is equal to 1 upon r 1 plus 1 upon r 2 plus up to nth term so these are the required values for parallel combination of cells means if we have a number of cells connected in parallel then we can replace it by a single cell having emf epsilon equivalent and resistance internal resistance r equivalent with values epsilon 1 upon r1 plus epsilon 2 upon r2 and so on up to nth term and 1 upon r equivalent is equal to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 up to nth term means these equations should be valid for that replacement. This was all about the cells in parallel combination.